Hi all, today we are going to be doing this junk journal insert. Um, it is incredibly simple, easy to do, only takes one file folder. It's got this on the front and the back. And then when you open it up, it has two flaps on the outside. I put one little flap here for some extra journaling. Then it opens up, you've got two little flaps on this side. You have one big pocket in the center that you can fill up with ephemera. It also folds. And then I chose on the outside to make these two outer matting pieces also into two little pockets that you can put additional things in. You can also do additional decorating if you like. I might do a second video where we decorate the outsides of these, but um, this is just the basic tutorial on the main structure of the file folder insert. Um, it's super simple. There are lots of great file folder insert tutorials for your junk journal out there on YouTube. Um, I know the Book Vandal has some really great ones. This is just my own little simplistic interpretation of that. So let's get started on it. What you will need, you'll need, um, you know, your glue, scissors, um, some sort of ruler or measuring device. You'll probably want, you know, a cutter if you've got one or your scissors might be enough for you. Um, some sort of scoring tools. Um, if you like to distress the edges, you'll also want your distress ink. And then you will need um, one file folder. And then you will need... Um, several pages of your favorite um, craft paper. So you could use, you know, a paper pad you have, you could use book pages that you have. Um, in my case, I'm using my Country Fields kit um, that I have in my shop. You're free to use that if you'd like. There are several other kits you can use in the same way as this. Um, whatever works for you, whatever you like, whatever coordinates with your journal, that's what you can use for this. I've just printed these on some like heavy cardstock because since I chose to use some of them um, as pockets, I just want to make sure they were like extra sturdy. All right, so let's get started. So first we need to score this file folder. The file folder insert is going to be eight and a half by about five and a half. Um, this is designed to be a US half letter size insert to go into journals that use US uh, letter sizes folded in half because um, that's mainly what I like to work with. So that's the size we're going for. So in order to achieve that, we gotta bring our scoreboard out. The first thing we need to do is score where all our different folds are going to be. So the first one I like to do is the bottom. I like to have my tabs on this side, get this all lined up. Then find the eight and a half mark and start scoring right along that line. Now I find that my scoring is generally, I can press hard enough without ripping the paper that I can do that. But if you'd like, you can flip that over on to both sides to make it easier on yourself. So then when you fold, you'll have this like this. And the next one we need to do it's pretty close to five and a half. What I actually like to do is take this all the way into the folder of this fold. I like to find five and a half and then I like to just go over one more tick. Just that little extra bit of room helps when you're folding and when you're starting to put ephemera and stuff in there. So five and a half, one over, and then I take the scoring tool and score all the way down. And then just check to make sure that you've got your scoring marks on both sides flip it over and then you can fold both sides in like so we have a little bottom pocket here so we're good once you have all your scoring marks made then we can put our scoring tool away for now so then we've got all our score marks made the next thing is these two squares here in the bottom, this is gonna be our pocket, these are gonna be our side flaps. So these two squares down here, we no longer need. So we're gonna cut those off really quick and I'll be right back. So one thing I wanna mention real quick when you're cutting, cause I've already cut this side. When you cut this side, you wanna cut, like if here's your line, you wanna cut on this side of that line and just a smidge in. Now I can't cut straight to save my life, but Hopefully you can cut straighter than I can. 
you want to take that off because that is going to give you this extra little space right here is going to give you um, a little more give when you're folding and all of that and putting your things on. So just take that little smidge off and then cut that corner of the rest of the way off. All right. So then you should have your file folder and then you should have two squares. Um, keep these around. They're really useful. You can decorate them to make inserts or if you want to do like I did, you can click create this little um, flap with these guys. They've got these cute little tabs that are perfect for like bending over and putting it as an insert in your, in your file folder. All right, so the next thing's next, just making sure everything's gonna work here just fine. This folds in, this folds in, and this folds over like so. Let's go ahead and get some extra attention to those fold crease lines. And there we go. We've got our the outer shell to our fire holder insert. Now, the next thing I like to do personally is go in and round the edges out a bit. Um, so I take a corner punch and I just nip the edges off of any of these outer sharp corners. I just wanted to get that one very well. There we go. Just, I just like the way it looks better with since you already have these rounded edges up here. Okay, next thing. The first um, one I do is this background and pocket uh, insert. Now the easiest way to do that one is to get your papers and decide, you know, which one you want to fold back. I'm going to use this one on the front. So I think I'm going to use this one right here on the inside and on the pockets. So first thing we need to do is cut this spot right here. Now you can, I, on this one, I did two different kinds of paper, but if you want to save a little bit of paper, these right here, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. So we'll measure that and cut that piece off first, off of this page. All right, now we have our back piece and our two little pocket pieces that are gonna go on. So this will fit pretty perfectly like right here in the center. Now, now on this one, I just put it straight in there and down the center, but I'm seeing a little bit of like wear on the paper and probably over time, um, you might have a little wear. Now personally, that might give you like a vintage effect you're looking for, but if you don't like that, what you can do is just cut this in half, five and a half, and you'll have two little separate pieces. one page one piece will go here one piece will go here this will fold up like so this piece will go here and this piece will go here I am going to ink this all up and then I am going to um, start attaching these different pages all right so off camera, I went ahead and I inked it up and made some mistakes, but that's okay because we're going to cover them up. Um, you don't need to ink down here because that part's going to be covered up, but you might want to ink all the other seams if that's an aesthetic you like. If you don't, you don't need to. You can also ink up um, these pages. I chose not to just because they're already a little bit um, distressed and I like them the way they are, but if you like to ink up your edges, feel free. So. Next up, let's get these ones glued in. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. I just happen to like this particular kind of glue. Use whatever kind of glue is your favorite. Let's go ahead and get these glued in so we can glue our pockets next. Now this is a pretty tight fit. This is a pretty tight fit here. 
um, because it is a letter size page that we just cut in half and we're putting it in a letter size. That's a bit of that give that I talked about where I said you go five and a half then add a little bit more. This is why. Let's get the glue on there. And then let's go ahead and get this one. lined up as well as I possibly can but again we're junk journaling so we do not need perfection just need to look as good as we can okay and then we will go ahead and glue this pocket closed put a little glue on this side and a little glue on this side if you wanted these to be two separate pockets you would just go ahead and cut down the middle snip a little out there and then glue it on the inside as well but I am fine with just having the thing like that. Okay. Got a little glue coming out the edges there all right so we've got that done then the next step is we need to get these two pieces glued on now in the original one I just glued these all the way down I think what I'm going to do for this one is go ahead and just glue them on the three outer sides so we kind of have like a double pocket here in the front because I just feels like a fun thing to do all right so I'm going to go ahead and glue these on the three sides on the back to create the little pocket And I'm going to do my best to center that. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, and then we'll do the next one. I'm just going to double check that I've oriented this correctly. Okay, because I could totally see myself that on wrong and it's always when I am recording myself that I do that most often just try to make that similarly spaced to that one and then we're going to glue down these three edges and then that we have and then you'll see that we have a pocket space here and a pocket space here a pocket space here and a pocket space there so there we go that is the first part and the next part we're going to do is go ahead and do the front and the back covers now for the front and back I chose to use this one I'm gonna put this image here on the front and then I'm gonna use this pattern page to put on the back. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut these off uh, off camera and then we will get them glued on. All right, I'm gonna put a file folder. First, we are going to do the front side here and glue this one on right there and I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of each edge all right if you're following along with the exact same ones I'm using then I just went ahead and I trimmed most of the like little brown background page off the top of the bottom there's a little bit peeking through just kind of give it that extra edge but other than that I just went ahead and I cut it off um, just so it would fit better in the thing and I'm gonna um, do the same thing with the back page when I get to that. All right, so then we go ahead and we glue this side. Okay. 
center it. It doesn't want to be centered. Okay, set it on there. And just glue that down. All right, there is our front cover. Now for our back cover, I'm gonna use this background piece. I'm going to trim off the edges. I'm going to glue this on with these little deckled edge facing out. And glue that one. And again, if you wanted to, um, you could distress the edges, um, but I like it the way it is. So, because I just like how that background peeks through like that. All right. So now we have our front and back cover done. Now we just need to do these pieces right here. All right, so for that, I have these two um, pages. I think for the inside, I'm gonna use this blue because it kind of picks up on this blue on that inside. And then on the outside, I'm gonna try and use these leaves on the edge. I'm gonna try and center those onto this page and leave this butterfly for some ephemera. So I want this to go like this and again this is letter size so it's pretty close on either edge. So what I just do is I line it up with this edge right here and then I flip it over and I just make sure that I've kept that as equal as I can. And then I just flip it over like so. And then I am just going to trace. Oh, I don't need that big thing. I am just going to trace the edge here. Again, ideally you want to use a pencil. But I'm using a marker. And I'm using a brown marker so that if some of the marker gets on there, it's going to match. All right. Then I'm just gonna cut this out and trim a little off of this side and a little off of this side and probably a teensy bit off of this side um, so that I can get it centered in there. I'm right handed so I'm gonna try to cut like this. Like I said before, so when you cut, you want to cut just a smidge onto the inside of this line. Like follow it, but follow it cutting on the inside of the line because that'll create that little extra matting space. Remember, this is junk journaling. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what the beauty of junk drilling is. I'm in a group and somebody was asking the other day, like what kinds of things are allowed in junk drilling and all of that. And I was like, gosh, like the beauty of junk drilling is it is whatever you want it to be. Like, that's why I junk journal. It helps me relax a little bit. Okay, so we'll set the rest of this scrap piece aside and then we will see. So that lines up pretty well, but we need to take a little bit off of each edge here and then we'll probably have to like re-corner that. Take a little bit off of each edge and probably just a smidge off the outer edge here to get that to fit better. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I trim that just a little bit. And now it is fitting pretty well. So if you want, you can also use this as a template for your other side. So if you figure out like, okay, I want this, then you just put this up to that side and use that to draw your template on this one so that you can have the edging that you want. I'm not going to do that just because I do not have a um, a pencil. This is something you definitely want to use a pencil for because otherwise you're going to draw on there. So I'm going to do that differently. But that's a real quick shortcut hack way to do it is to use that as the template for your other side. Alright, I'm going to glue this page on. I think on this one I'm going to make all 
four of these pockets. So I am going to just glue on this side, this side, and this side. Now we have that side covered, and once it dries, we will have a little pocket in there. All right, and then I want this paper to go on this side. So I'm gonna use the same technique I used before, and I'm going to trace the back. back like that I'm trying to think of stuff like I did and then I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to do the same thing as before I'm going to trim the edges a little bit and then we'll glue that piece on all right now we've got this piece and again I'm going to glue this side this side and this side all right so now we have our outer pockets and now we just need to make our inner ones and for the inner ones, I'm going to use this blue paper, like I said before. Oops, it's upside down. Put that one on that side, and this one on this side. Double check here. And then I messed up my rounded corner here because of what I cut off. But the cheesy way to fix that is to just take your little corner punch and pop it off. And then you have a perfectly rounded corner again. All right. So I'm going to glue here, here, and here to create another pocket. All right. And then I'm going to use um, a similar technique on this one. There we go. So now on this one, I didn't put a flip because we have the pockets here, but if you wanted to put a flip, what you would do is before you put down this piece of card, I just take this edge right here where there is um, a little bit of a flap and I fold it over like so. And then I take that flap, I slide it in under my cardstock and then I glue it down, and then I glue the cardstock down on top of it, and then I have that little flap that I created in this one. Um, but I don't recommend doing that when you have a pocket there because you're already putting stress on the 
um, paper as it is by having a pocket there and pulling things in and out. If you also have this like weighted on it and this isn't glued down, you're gonna probably rip or tear something over time. Um, so for this one, I wouldn't do that, but that's the simple way you do that. You just take that craft piece. On this one, I just, you know, clipped the edges there, made it rounded off, took a little bit of scrap paper um, that I had, you know, sitting around. So for this one, I might take that, or better yet, I might take this little butterfly and cut him out in the same little square piece and glue it on there. And then you have a little flap of journaling space. All right, so for today, that's all. Um, but now you have a cute little journaling page. And if you want, um, another thing you can do is I just took a strip off the edge here. If you want to further reinforce this for when you go to sew it in or whatever, I just take a strip of, you know, patterned paper, trim it down to size, fold it around the edge there, and then it creates a cute little reinforced edging on your insert. So you can do that as well if you'd like. But yeah, so there are our simple one folder junk journal tutorial. I hope to have more tutorials like this in the future. If you have any requests or any questions, feel free to ask them below. Have a great day, everyone.